Uh, yes. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, sir. Mark, how are you? Okay. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, now, fine, thank yes. you, sir. Like uh, I, I told you before, uh, the previous time, uh, we were looking at the uh, uh, from Plante. That was the uh, last week. And the uh, yeah. uh, okay. Hello. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Here. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Are you hearing me now? Yes. Okay. I've, I've just changed the to uh, another machine uh, which has the the notes i think now we can be ready to to start uh, okay just give me a minute uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this is what we did the last time. Uh, we are looking at those different, uh, we are sorting and identifying organisms in kingdom what? Plant A. Uh, maybe uh, uh, and then just just something a little remaining is something I have to do here. Uh, Uh, are you able to see the screen I've shared? Hello? Yes. Okay. That is what we were looking at uh, uh, last time. Yes. Uh, if you all remember. And there was an activity actually, which was, which was following, which was following just. Uh, after that, actually that's the picture we had to fill in that type of group name. And then you mentioned it, you mentioned the characteristics which we were able to do uh, that day. And the, uh, okay. Okay, 
then for today, what we are going to look at is this kingdom and Maria and the that is work for today and the Hope you are able to read through uh, because uh, our questions uh, of discussion today are going to run from the work which we are seeing there. Okay, all right. Um, can, can, can I assign someone to take us through the reading? Uh, let me ask uh, Ingrid. Ingrid, can you make me host? Ingrid? Yes, teacher. I'm now the new host. Make me the host again. I left you as a host when I was leaving. So make me host again. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Can you do that very fast, eh? Yes. Leave as host, okay? Teacher, I'm done. Okay. All right, uh, you must welcome this lesson. Uh, can we start with actually Ingrid taking us through uh, this uh, little work here? I'm done. Okay, that is good, I've seen that. Uh, no, okay, uh, Nabisere, are you on? Nabisere? Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah, can you take us through that little work which has been shared? Yeah, should I read it? For, so that everyone can be able to, yeah, yeah, actually we need to read and follow as I take, uh, yeah. Okay, teacher. We usually tend to limit the word, an, the word animal to a few particular organisms leaving out others. In this unit, you are going to learn what organisms are classified as animals. Animals are multicellular organisms. Multicellular. Multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms, yeah. Yes. Their cells have no cell walls or chloroplast. Therefore, they cannot make their own food. Most animals, ingest solid food and digest in inter internally. The animal kingdom can be divided into nine main groups. Phyla. Eight of these groups are animals without backbone, in brackets, invertebrates. And the other groups comprise comprises animals that have backbones, sure, in brackets, vertebrates. That's all, oh, teacher. Right. Yeah, that's good. Uh, someone had a, a, a concern? All right. Now, uh, just to handle what has been read, uh, like the, 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 what is in the literature, uh, we sometimes uh, don't understand some organisms and animals. Actually, in water, there are certain organisms which are we, they are animals, but we sometimes think they are fish. Okay, the word fish means anything that is in water. Uh, that is to the common understanding of English. Fish is anything that is in water. But uh, within the water, yeah, 
we know they are quite different uh, other animals apart from what uh, fish okay because if you come to the classification of uh, fish uh, this at the end of this uh, uh, this uh, literature it is telling us of what we call invertebrates and the uh, vertebrates later we shall learn fish are, are vertebrates yeah fish would belong because they have a vertebral what? column all animals with a back what a back bone but there are quite many organisms uh, which we are, are really animals but we don't know them now this this subtopic has a, a role to uh, enable us to understand what animals are and how can we group them and we, we have seen the first grouping of all animals as the word animals has been done into nine phyla nine phyla remember uh phyla being the the second unit of classification after kingdom so if the kingdom in the five kingdom classification if you have kingdom and malia as we are doing then we shall have now the next after kingdom and malia will be the different phyla of kingdom and malia so there are nine however eight of them are known to be invertebrates. And the word invertebrates are those animals without a back bone. However, we also have the, the, just one phyla or phylum, one phylum uh, with organisms that possess a back what? A back bone. And the, that is what this uh, literature uh, is all what is all about. Now, when we go to the next part, uh, it, uh, let me try to bring that part together. It tells, it now shows us uh, this kind of what we are talking about. Yeah, we are talking about, we are seeing uh, the animals. Now, the word is animals, but in terms of classification, the kingdom is called animalia. The spelling ends with I A. But the organism which belong there, we call them animals. You should understand these kind of words. Okay. If it is a, if you're talking about kingdom uh, animalia, the spelling should end with I A. But if you're talking about the organisms which belong to that kingdom, then we call them animals. So it is wrong to say kingdom, maybe animals. No, we say kingdom animalia. Animals belong means the organisms which belong that kingdom. Now, these organisms that we have seen in kingdom and Maria have been grouped into what we call vertebrates and then invertebrates. Okay? Yes. Uh, I mean, may I know the, the meaning of invertebrates? Uh, let me choose uh, 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 let me choose someone here. Musamari. Oscar? Yes, Mr. Mali, your chance has gone. Uh, I've given it to someone who put up his hand. Mark. Yes, Mark. Mark? Invertebrates, invertebrates are organisms without a backbone. Very good, okay. Those organisms that have backbone are the ones we call invertebrates, okay? Uh, then what about the vertebrates? Uh, may I choose uh, Josephine? Josephine? Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah, can you give me the answer for the next part? Now, what was the question? The question was, uh, what are vertebrates? Vertebrates are animals with a backbone. Okay, very good. Those are animals with, uh, with the backbone, but they have an internal skeleton. Okay, uh, they have an internal skeleton. Mark, did you have uh, something else? Well, as you have said, the vertebrates have an external skeleton or they lack a skeleton at all. Okay, you realize, the, for example, uh, the arthropod, the insects, eh, have an exoskeleton, right? That is the uh, invertebrate. So they belong to that group of the invertebrates. Now, uh, like before, I was telling you, uh, these organisms 
Um, we shall, by the way, extend a little because of the time we have lost. Okay. Uh, let me tell you when it is still early. Uh, so that we shall extend a little from the time when you are supposed to end, uh, just to, to make sure we cover something. Eh? Uh, uh, maybe I'll add some 15 minutes from the time we are supposed to end. Okay. I know it's too much, it's too much, but we shall uh, persevere and do it. Okay. Now, among the, the invertebrates, we have the, uh, the phylum of polyphyla. Here in the notes, what you have there are polyphylans. Okay. So polyphylans belong to the phyla, phylum we call polyphyla. And the, this one includes what we call sponges. This one includes the, the sponges. Then um, we have the next uh, phylum. There is the colentrix or colentrata. Uh, that was an old name. These days we call them uh, cindalians. You may find some books that have talked about uh, uh, cindalians. When they call about, they talk about cindalia as a, a phylum, those are the colentrates, and they include the jellyfish, they include the hydra. We are going to see some of these organisms, okay? We are going to see the picture with them and identify them as an activity for this lesson. Then another phylum is the phylum we call platehelminthes, okay? That phylum has what we call the flatworms, like the tapeworms. Now, so the word plate actually, Plate. Plate means flat. Then the word helminth means worm. That's why their name is it. Plate helminth. Are you able to see the third one in the row there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So the plate helminth are the yes, flat worms. For example, uh, we have the tape worms. Okay. Um, yes, teacher. Yeah, for example, yeah, you have the, the, the liver fruits, uh, arms all belong to that. If you, you are going to see their pictures, okay? Then we have phylum nematoda. Here in the book, we have written them as nematodes. For example, hookworms. And now these nematodes are the, these nematodes are the round worms. The common example are the ascaris. Then uh, we have, Phylum Anelida, or what we call the Anelids, and these are uh, like the earthworm belongs to this uh, this phylum of Anelida, where the worms are segmented. We call them the phylum of with segmented the worms. And here we have the earthworms. We have the leech. We are going to see these pictures of these organisms in our next uh, activity. Then. We also have uh, uh, phylum Echinodermata, or the organisms are now called the Echinoderms. According to this work, where they have given names of the organisms, not the phylum. Okay, so I'm trying to bring you your focus to the name of the phylum. So the phylum is Echinodermata and it has the starfish. The starfish is very common to us in the textbook. We are going to see it in the picture. In, in cartoons, we see a lot of starfish. You're going to see that. The, uh, okay, so that is echinoderms. Then this, the next phylum is mollusca or mollusks, where the snails and slugs belong. These are also common to us. We're going to see them in the picture. Then we have the phylum of arthropoda. Phylum arthropoda. It has the arthropods. The word is arthropoda. A r a t h r o p o d. Arthropoda, DA, right? So this one has the arthropods, uh, where the insects belong, and this is the most uh, common group of uh, organisms in that case. And the uh, the other last uh, now phylum we said there are part nine. This is the phylum now which we said includes the vertebrates. Say eh? that is the phylum for data, the codates. Okay, you're going to see that like, this one includes like the mammals, the, the amphibians, the reptiles, the fish, which we talked about at the beginning of this uh, lesson. Uh, we talked about the fish, so it also has uh, this. It has the mammals mostly, okay, and other organisms which I've tried to, to talk about. Okay, the mammals. Now. Uh, 
if if I can go to the, uh, we shall come back to this work, but I want us to go to the to the pictures because we have been uh, talking about these uh, these organisms, okay? And uh, I want us to go through the pictures after which we shall come to the to the work about them uh, uh, later. We are going. You know, we now want to get familiar with these organisms as we see them there. Okay, I need to make it smaller, and we are able to to see them. And okay, well, okay, I'll bring it down a little, just a little. Okay. Okay, uh, can we see the, the picture that has been shared on the screen? Uh, uh, these are some of the organisms which belong to Kingdom Animalia. They actually, uh, a very particular phyla has been represented here by one or more organisms as we are going to see. Okay, uh, let's start from uh, number, number one. Who can identify for us organism number one? Organism number one. Organism number one. Uh, okay, a slug uh, as, uh, as as proposed by Asasila. That is very good. Uh, organism number one, we have agreed uh, as shared by uh, Asasila. It is a slug. I saw a hand raised by Mark. Mark, can you now take us through organism number two? Because number one has already been identified. Mark. Uh, a starfish. And number one was a slug. Um, number two. If you object, please you can share and you can in the chat you can tell us that that you want to try. Uh, now, Mark, that organism there is, is not uh, a starfish. Okay, very good. Okay, Abdul has told us it is a brittle star fish. Okay, that is very correct. Uh, I saw uh, a hand uh, for for Timothy. Timothy, number three. Take us through number three. Number Timothy. three. Spider. Uh, very good. We all agree. Number three is a, a spider. Uh, there were two hands up. Um, Someone take us through. Mark, you want to try again for number four? Number Not four. Sure. All right, who, who can help us with the uh, number four? Uh, number four has already been identified by Asasila. Uh, she's telling us uh, it is a, a hookworm. Uh, a hookworm. Uh, uh, now, what we're going to do, uh, uh, now, uh, at Abdul, Abdu, okay. Now, uh, number five, I'm giving it to, to Abdul. Number uh, six, I'm giving it to uh, Cleopatra. Uh, then Tracy will take us to number seven. So can we have 
Number five. Number five, the person for number five. Number five. It is. Okay. Number five has already been identified in the chat. Uh, let, let me check the person. Uh, Abdul has identified as millipede. That is a very okay. Can someone take on number six now? Teacher, number six is octopus. Uh, number very good. Number six is uh, an octopus. Uh, number the person I, I selected seven. someone for na hey. number seven. No. I'll give Josephine number eight. Josephine, I'll give you number eight. Uh, then Esther will take on number nine. Uh, Marietta will take on number 10. And then, uh, yeah. So, so uh, number seven? No. Okay, is a, that is a snail, very good. Uh, number eight uh, by Timothy has already identified it as a, a, a liver fruit and it is correct. Uh, did I give number nine to someone? Give us the answer for number nine. The person I gave number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Sponge. Number nine. Yeah, very good. Uh, number nine is a, a sponge, a polyphyla. Okay. N number ten. I gave it to. I, I gave number ten to. Uh, number ten. I, think. I gave it to Esther. Esther, are you there? Esther. Esther. Me, teacher. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let, let me hear from uh, Mark. Hydra. Uh, very good. Number teacher. 10 is a, a Hydra. Uh, then number 11, Abdul, your hand is up. Well, I give number 11 to to Nabisere. Teacher. All right. Yeah. Hi, Brian. So we are now. Number 11 is what? Ascaris. Uh, very nice. That is, those are Ascaris. Uh, the, those are uh, scaries. We just talked about to uh, them. Uh, then uh, that is number eleven. Number twelve. Uh, number twelve. Uh, uh, number twelve. Uh, can I uh, assign someone for number twelve? Now, um, your hand is still up. Can you tell us? Nabisere? Hello. Okay. May I hear from Marietta? Marietta? Namlindwa? Yeah. Yes, Namlindwa. Number 12 is a mosquito. Uh, this is okay. Very good. Uh, number 12 is a mosquito. That is very correct. Um, and number 13, may I hear from, from uh, Ingrid? Ingrid? Yes, Ingrid. Okay, she's not on. Uh, okay, let me ask you, Oscar, Daddy. number 13. Os 
Oscar. Sí, animal. Okay, very good. She's a sea anemone. Okay, yeah, that is a, a sea anemone. No, then number fourteen. Uh, can I ask you? Can I ask you, Esther again? Esther. Esther, if she's on. Okay, uh, let me ask you, Ingrid. Ingrid. Leech, leech. Uh, uh, very nice. That is a, a leech. Then number fifteen. Uh, number fifteen. Number fifteen. Muyomba. Timoth. Timoth. Number fifteen. Yeah, we are not seeing where. We can see the fifteen. To be raised. Okay. Okay. Number. 15. 15. It's at one. Okay, very good. It is the it is an earthworm. Then number 16. Uh, someone has raised their hand. That is Mark. Number 16, Mark. A locust. Very nice. That is the next thing is a locust. And then uh, 17. Uh, 17. Can I hear from uh, Rose? Rose. Crab. It's a crab. It is a, a crab. crab. Very nice. Very nice. It's a crab. I'll give number 18 to, to Josephine. one. Very nice. That is a tip one. Uh, then 19 to Timothy. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish. Very nice. That's a jellyfish. And then number last uh, number mm -hmm. 20 to Alfred. Is Alf Alfred there has no mic? I don't know if you can do it. Okay. Alf Alfred, Stop can you take fish. us through? Yeah. Stop fish. Okay, that's very nice. That, that is the a star, a star. That is a starfish. Okay, uh, it just shows uh, the difference with the the brittle star. When someone was calling it a starfish, I think that you can see twenty is our our star, our starfish. Now, those organisms which we have identified were the ones that uh, were selected in our pictures, and they represented the different. Uh, uh phyla as we talked about phylum polyphyla where the sponge number nine belongs then uh, the corentrata cor cor where we have hydra and jellyfish or we call them cindarians then we have phylum the platelmentis which has the liver fruits uh, the tapeworms we have them we have them there in the picture then we have the nematode number 11 uh, is an ascari, which is a, a nema, nematode, okay? Um, then we have anelida. Anelida is a, we have the earthworm and the leech, the leech. Does anyone know the local name for the leech? Any local name you know for the leech? Can someone give me a local name for a leech? Any local name, any language? In a Ugandan language for this 14. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Oh. I don't know. Okay, have you heard of what we call a chinoso in the water? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah, teacher. That is number 14. That is the one we call. A leech, yes. okay. Yes. It is a, it is actually, it is actually a blood sucker. Huh? This one yes. enters into, if it enters into your uh, body, it can suck uh, blood. Yes. So if you get into dirty water and you have an, a wound in the body, it can get in there and uh, suck. By the way, some of them are used as the for medicinal purposes because if it gets in and can suck pass like from your wound 
that will be a, a one way of relieving pain from you. Yeah. So some of them are uh, medicinal for that reason, eh? Because they can suck, and after sucking, it can get out, no problem. Eh? So somewhere you'll find them being kept in you know, uh, for medicinal what? Medicinal purposes. Eh? Who would stand that pain of uh, being treated with the leech? Huh? Of course, by the time no you get one. to that level, no one. Yeah, maybe it would be a good, it would be a good kind of uh, remedy for pain that you could have developed. Okay, then we have uh, the, more, the echinoderms, the starfish. Um, one thing about this starfish, uh, the way it looks is a starfish. It has only actually one opening. Yeah. Uh, just, just one opening there at the star fish there. Not sure I have a one opening. And then one thing about if you chop this starfish into small, small pieces, you don't kill it. Each each piece can develop into another starfish. Yeah? That kind of regeneration would be a good one. Yeah? So by killing it, chopping, chopping it into pieces. Uh, if we are to school with this, we have it in the lab. Uh, if it was school time, you'd be able to see this starfish, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah, but maybe one time when you get back to school, we shall bring all some of these organisms and you'll be able to see to see them. Uh, uh, then uh, the other phylum we talked about uh, is the mollusca, which has the, the snails and then the, the slugs, right? Eh? These are very common in our places, in our gardens, yeah, the, 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 the snails are very common. This lesson will end at exactly one, so we have about three minutes to end the lesson. Eh? Uh, we're sorry we came a little late, but uh, we have compensated that time. Uh, then uh, the other phylum was the phylum codata, which phylum codata uh, now uh, has the fish it has the reptiles, it has the amphibians, uh, amphibians, all those organisms which have a backup bone belong to this what? To this phyla, okay? The codex, okay? Organisms with a backup bone. And I think if we meet tomorrow, we are now going to, to be looking at uh, some details of each of these examples of organisms in the, in the phylum, I mean, in, in the kingdom animalia, which I will start with the arthropods. We talk about the arthropods, talk about arachnids, and, and we look at their, their characteristics, okay? That's the next bit which we are going to do when we, when we meet, when we meet a, 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 again. Uh, that is that will be tomorrow same time. Today we are a little uh, we didn't have got some problems in the login, but uh, yeah, Mark, you have a question? Mark, excuse me, teacher. Yes. Uh, I've just I've just logged in right now, but I have a question about the starfish. Yes. Uh, how does the starfish get regenerate itself? Uh, okay, I think when 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 you you came in, uh, I, I was trying to to uh, to talk about to starfish, eh? uh, and how you can uh, how how you if you chop it into small pieces. That, that that would not uh, that would not kill it. Eh? Um, that if you chop if it breaks into small pieces, yeah, then each of those pieces now uh, they they have ability to regrow. Okay, they are able to regrow into another one. Yes. Uh, another an, another star starfish. So by by having them broken into smaller pieces, eh, 
uh, that one will not kill it. Eh? Instead, uh, they will be able, uh, they have the ability to, to, to what? To regenerate eh? them into other starfish. Eh? So the more you keep cut, chop, chopping them, they will get into other starfish, okay? So others will regenerate in that. That would be a, a, like a, 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 a kind of reproduction. What name would you give that kind of reproduction? Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes? How, what name would we give that kind of reproduction? Pardon? Like uh, the, the kind eh, of the, the kind of reproduction I was trying to describe. Eh? Uh, what would we call it? What form of production is that? Okay, we know there's what we call a sexual reproduction and then what? Uh, uh, and then sexual what? reproduction. So that means the starfish has the ability uh, to regenerate themselves uh, via what? Sexually or even if, uh, via what? Uh, sexually. If I, it is chopped into smaller pieces and then it, 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 it forms other forms, eh? Excuse that would be, teacher. yes. How, wh how does it reproduct asexually? What's the meaning of asexually? Uh, asexual reproduction means it is uh, able to reproduce without gamete formation. Just like you see, you know, organisms which reproduce by binary fusion, like, uh, like uh, let's say how uh, the malaria parasites eh? maybe undergo maybe multiple fusion or how amoeba undergoes binary fusion. Yeah, fusion is breaking. Eh? Uh, but uh, this kind of regeneration I was telling you about uh, is that an organism can break, but after breaking, eh, each piece can grow into another, okay? Or it can get other copies, which we call like a clone. Hello? Do you know about cloning? Yes. Okay, so like a cloning, it would mean uh, you get a, a copy of one organism and then you produce many what? Many others out of it, yeah? Now, in, in this case, uh, of course, it is used the, so much, it happens the bacteria, even in a higher organisms, even in humans, by the way, it is possible to clone. It is best to use in the plant regeneration if you want to grow like very many copies of a plant, with say bananas, in Kawanda, we can make clones of a particular uh, plant. Have you heard about clonal coffee? We can clone a plant, okay? A certain plant, you get just one piece of that plant, then you go, you take it into the machine, which can produce uh, millions of, of that plant, okay? From just a, a, a small portion, okay? Like you can do it with banana, you can, you can do it with very many plants. That is the cloning, and you get exactly copies. Cloning can even be done in humans, although it is not accepted, eh? but uh, yeah, it's not accepted by world because they were by many governments, no, no country, apart from South Korea, I mean, not, uh, yeah, in North Korea or South Korea, one of them, they do, they have laboratories where they can clone people. Even in America, I think that the laboratory is there. I've read about a person who was cloned 
and was named Adam. Some people are fighting God. When they said it's Adam and Eve, some people try to clone someone in their own picture. So some laboratories are there, they're where they can clone, but it's not accepted. They do it illegally, yeah, because of, you know, it can cause about, bring about uh, terrorism. Huh? Imagine if you have a terrorist and then he clones a hundred of, of himself, huh? what would the world be at? Yeah, that would be very dangerous. Yeah, you can look for that person and you can't, you fail to see them. Yeah? Because of uh, because there'll be many people resembling and you can keep terrorism in the whole world. That's why it's not accepted. Okay, but in lower organisms, some organisms can make a copy of themselves or what we call clone. I think when we meet tomorrow, uh, we shall build this from here. We have gone five minutes past the, the time we are supposed to end. Uh, next time uh, this is done, is it done? In, Hello? Yes. Yeah, we're already going off. I'm here. Yeah, you, this is done, eh? Yes. But next next time, sign in with your name. OK. Yeah, you, you, you are signing in with, with your father's name. <laughs> I had a problem with the laptop, so. Uh, OK. So I think we, 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 we yeah, yeah, it is possible. We shall be trying to connect a little earlier i mean like we start a little bit you start like try to log in like a 10 minutes too so that we don't get such issues all later you restart the machine like mine had problems also i was late but i was able to to restart so next time do the same if you find the okay. cases i think yeah someone has raised up their hand before we we, we leave is it Melissa? yes teacher she has yeah. sent for us the biology textbook in the group. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, this one with the note with what we are doing, eh? Okay, yes, I'm going to do that right we can now. Get close to all wow. Okay, let me let me do that and let me find the work and send it again. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Thanks, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Can you add me in the group? Yes. Can you add uh, me can, you can you share your number in the chat? Share your number in the okay. chat right now. OK. Can you share, share your number? Let me type it in. Right in the chat before we close. OK. Another question as we, 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 we wind up. Have you seen it? Not yet. Uh, not yet. Has it come? Okay. Has it I've come? I've not seen it. I've not seen it. What we are going to do it? Eh? Yeah. You, you read it for me, but I didn't want you to read it here yeah? because this lesson is being recorded. Okay, it's uh, zero, zero seven, mm -hmm. five nine, five nine, eighteen fifteen thirty four. Eighteen fifteen thirty four. But I, okay, okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. We, we meet again. Thank you very much, nice teacher. Time. Thank you. Thank you, we, teacher. Yeah, yeah we're guys. signing in. A, this techno man, next time, sign in with your name. <laughs> techno. <laughs> next time, sign in with your name, or else I'll, I'll remove you. Oh, it is. Thank mm -hmm. you.